Hi students, this is Ramalakshmi, Physics Faculty. Today our topic is Electric Field Strength Due to a Uniformly Charged Rod. Case 2. At an equatorial point. We want to find out intensity of electric field at a point P on the equatorial line of a uniformly charged rod. Okay, let us start our topic. Consider a rod of length L. This rod length is L. And Q amount of charge is distributed uniformly on over the length of this rod. Charge is distributed uniformly. So charge per unit length lambda is equals to Q by L. Here this charge is distributed continuously. For continuous charge distribution, Coulomb's law is not applicable. Coulomb's law is applicable only for the point charges. So that's why let us take a smallest element on this rod. Length of this smallest element dx and a charge on this smallest element d Q. So, charge on this smallest element dQ is equals to charge per unit length into length of that element dx. So, where we want to find out the intensity of electric field at point P. So, this is positive charge direction of intensity of electric field radially outwards. So this is the direction of intensity of electric field. This electric field line make an angle theta with the equatorial line. Here angle is theta then here also angle is theta. So the distance from center of the rod to this point let it be R. And from center of the rod to the element, let it be x. So now, from this element to point P, this length is, so this is look like right angle triangle, then this length becomes to square root of r square plus x square. So, intensity of electric field produced at the point P due to the smallest element DE is equals to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into DQ pi square root of R square plus X square whole square. And now here, square and root get cancelled that is equals to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught in place of dq substitute this one q by l into dx by r square plus x square. So this is the intensity of electric field at point p due to the smallest element. But we want the total intensity of electric field produced by the rod. So once observe the diagram here. Here intensity of electric field make an angle theta with the equatorial line. Then the component of intensity of electric field along this direction. DE cos theta. And along this direction, DE sin theta. Here charge is distributed uniformly. Maybe when we take the symmetrical element at this side also, then this element also produces intensity of electric field along this direction. Then the component along this direction is DE sin theta and in upward direction is DE cos theta. DE sin theta and this side also DE sin theta. So these two components equal in magnitude and opposite in direction. So get cancelled with each other. So the resultant intensity of electric field is produced only because of the component DE 
cos theta. Maybe this point is located at the center. So, left side negative x axis, right side positive x axis. So, this side length of the rod becomes to minus L by 2 and this side length of the rod becomes to plus L by 2. So, take the integration then it gives the net intensity of electric field. So, intensity of electric field at the point P is equals to integral and limits are from minus L by 2 to plus L by 2, 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into Q by L dx by R square plus X square. Here the resultant intensity is produced only because of the component of DE cos theta. So take this one DE cos theta. Here also cos theta. So now here cos theta. So from the diagram cos theta is equals to. So here adjacent side is R. Hypotenuse is square root of R square plus X square. So cos theta is equals to R by square root of R square plus X square. And from this sin theta is equals to. So this length is X. So sin theta is equals to X by square root of R square plus X square. And from this tan theta is equals to x by r and from this x is equals to r tan theta. So differentiate on both sides with respect to theta then dx by d theta is equals to r into d by d theta of tan theta. So differentiation of tan theta is secant square theta r into secant square theta. Then dx is equals to r secant square theta into d theta. So now in this part 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught is a constant. Q by L also constant right out of the integration. 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into Q by L integral minus L by 2 plus L by 2. In place of dx substitute this one R into secant square theta d theta. 1 by R square plus x square. In place of cos theta, r by square root of r square plus x square into in place of dx, r secant square theta into d theta. And now 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q by l integral minus L by 2 to plus L by 2. So once uh, check here, R also constant here. So Q R, R square plus X square into R square plus X square whole power 1 by 2, it becomes secant square theta by R square plus X square whole power 3 by 2 into d theta and we know x by r is equals to tan theta and from this x is equals to r tan theta and here r square plus x square is there. So in this place find out r square plus x square is equals to r square plus in place of x square r square tan square theta. Take r square common r square into 1 plus tan square theta. 1 plus tan square theta is equals to secant square theta. 
so r square into secant square theta so r square plus x square is equals to r square into secant square theta so now substitute here 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q r by l integral minus l by 2 to plus l by 2 secant square theta by r square plus x square plus r square secant square theta r square secant square theta whole power 3 by 2 into t theta so now that is equals to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q r by l integral minus l by 2 to plus l by 2 secant square theta by r square whole power 3 by 2 becomes to r cube secant square theta whole power 3 by 2 becomes to secant cube theta into t theta or r is there r so now simplify here r into r r square and denominator r cube is there so that is equals to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q by l here r square by r cube so only one r is remaining integral minus l by 2 plus l by 2 1 by secant theta becomes to cos theta d theta so that is equals to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q by l or integral cos theta is equals to sin theta sin theta and the limits from minus l by 2 to plus l by 2 so we know sin theta value here sin theta is equals to x by square root of r square plus x square and now that is equals to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q by l or in place of sin theta substitute x by square root of r square plus x square limits minus l by 2 to plus l by 2 so in place of x first substitute upper limit next minus lower limit so that is equals to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q by l or into upper limit in place of x l by 2 by square root of r square plus x square is there so l square by 4 here minus is there minus of minus becomes to plus l by 2 by square root of r square plus l square by 4 so take l by 2 common 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught so l q by 2 into LR. So denominator is the same. 1 plus 1 becomes to 2. And when we take here LCM in square root, it becomes 4 R square plus L square by 4. So root 4 becomes to 2 and 2 comes to numerator. So into 2 by square root of 4 R square plus L square. So, here L, L get cancelled. 1, 2 also get cancelled. Then, so remaining 2 into Q is there. So, 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught. So, here 2 Q. 2 Q by R into square root of L square plus 4 R square. So, this is the formula to find out the intensity of electric field due to a uniformly charged rod on the equatorial line. Where L is the length of the rod, where R is the distance from center of the rod to point P.